thin film or you have shiny surface, you have um, NDSU University Distinguished Professor in Civil and Environmental Engineering Dr. Kalpana Kadi has a very simple teaching philosophy. A good teacher is just two things, knowledgeable and caring. She tries to stay as knowledgeable as possible and is always caring. I think a good teacher has to be knowledgeable, up to date on that topic and also be concerned about the student learning. I also try to be more focused on the uh, learning aspect of the student rather than the, you know, just going through the process of teaching. Since joining NDSU in 1997, Dr. Cotty's primary area of research is in tissue engineering and biomimetics. The tissue engineering project involves design of living and non-living constructs for replacement of human tissue. It is something she takes a great deal of pride in. The applications fall in the area of regenerative medicine, basically replacement of human tissues. And we have evolved to have certain you know, body parts, organs, tissues have some functions. Uh, and there's, there's always need for replacement of those because of aging, because of injuries due to war. Dr. Connie's research has won several awards from professional societies, and she has published in over 140 publications in the field. At NDSU, she also helped establish two new advanced electron microscopes through NSF grants. Around the world, she has given over 40 invited lectures at national and international conferences. The point is this and this are not same. That's the key means your silica tetrahedra must She wants students to know that a professor's research is very important to students learning in the classroom. But uh, such a teacher who is also a researcher is actually engaged in the creation of knowledge. And that kind of creativity and innovation is absolutely intoxicating. It's the way they approach problems. It's, uh, it's thinking out of the box. Uh, those those uh, sort of creative uh, mindsets of those researchers get transmitted to the students knowingly or unknowingly. Sometimes people do it knowingly and sometimes you can, you can hide the passion. It's there. <laughs> and the students see it and they get inspired. Dr. Cotty doesn't view balancing research and teaching as a challenge, but instead the two work together constantly to benefit the students. I do not think it's a challenge at all. I think teaching and research are entwined, interconnected. You cannot separate one from the other. So, uh, you know, one, one area helps the other. Her best advice for students, it is important to have a dream and follow through in working towards that dream. As far as your career goes, sit in the driver's seat and always have an open mind. A closed mind is deterrent to learning. Being engaged in the acquiring of the knowledge. Rather, I know it's kind of odd to say we're in the business of education, it's all about the grade and the transcript. <laughs> but uh, really you can't be focused on that. To get a good grade, let's say A, you need uh, more than 90%, right? So you get 91% uh, in all classes and you get A's, so you're, you're considered a fantastic student. In real life, going from step A to step B takes 100%, uh, especially if you, wanted to, if you wanted to do something important. So that 91% isn't gonna cut it. <laughs> so while you are in the classroom, be fully engaged in the ideas, the knowledge, acquiring, understanding, uh, I think that's, that's the most important thing.